Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the creation command, create command. So that is a DDL command and how to create a database, how to create the tables. So we have seen in the previous session and now we have, so we will see a one more command that is a insert command. So insert command. Okay, so insert command is a DML command, data manipulation language. Okay, so this comes under DML command. So this insert method or insert command is used to insert data into tables. So already we have seen how to create a table in the previous session. So after creating the table, we have to insert the values. So here, uh, while insert, while creating a table, we have we have derived the attributes with the corresponding data types. So here we have to pass the values for all the attributes or a limited attributes. So we'll see the syntax for all the three, all the things. So how can we insert a single row for all the attributes and how can we insert a single row with a limited number of attributes and how can we insert a multiple rows okay with more number of attributes with all the attribute values and how can we insert uh, multiple rows with a limited number of attributes right so first one so let us see the syntax so sql it's a prompt okay after the prompt use a command called insert into table name table name okay and here you need to give attribute 1 attribute 2 and so on and so on values the value for first attribute see attribute 1 underscore a value so the value corresponds to this particular attribute 1 similarly attribute 2 value and so on so this is a command which we will use to insert a single row with with a specific attributes that means see for example so we have created a student table in the previous session with the four attributes four attributes that is student id student name student branch student percentage so here we need to give the data for all the values i mean all the attributes okay see so SID student ID student name student branch student percentage so these are the four fields or four attributes we have created so one thing you just remember if the data type if the data type is of a string is of a string so the value should be enclosed in quotations the value should be enclosed in quotation that means if any of the attributes is derived with a string data type that means either a character or a varchar or a text so that should be enclosed in single quotations so that we have to remember so where we have to give going to value so we are giving the value here itself so so here we have not given any constraints while creating a table because we have not discussed about the constraints so far so in the further sessions, we'll discuss about the constraints and again, we'll uh, see the insert command. So we, we can give a partial values, that means a partial attributes, values for a partial attributes, not for all the attributes. That means if you want to give, you can give the values for only these three. You can skip this one. Or you can give the complete values. That means the, the values for all the four attributes, right? So this is the syntax. Okay, this is a syntax to insert the values for 
okay a limited attributes not for all the attributes so you can also give the all the attribute values okay but if you want to give only a few values for only a few attributes you have to mention the attribute names and attribute values see example i need to give this one so sql insert into student so what we have done we have to mention the attribute so sid yes name i just want to pass only this one so values values 101 and sandeep so this is the thing i have executed so sandeep is a var cap so we have to enclose in quotation single quotation so after executing this one we will get 101 sandeep and all these values will be null by default it will be null okay by default it will be a null without using any constraint okay without using any constraint the default value will be null so we have not passed any value for uh, these two attributes branch and percentage so they will be filled with a null so if you want to fill all the four values so you need not mention this one you need not mention this one insert into table name values give the value for all the attributes in the table that means insert into student insert into student okay values values so 102 some saradi some csc 95 so here you can see the table consists of four attributes and we are giving all the four values here okay we will not get any error so if you are want to give only the three values with this syntax this will return an error because the student is having a four columns or four attributes but we are passing only the three values so if you don't want to get this type of error you have to mention the attribute names here so for which we are passing the values okay if you are not specifying any attribute names here so you need to pass the value for all the attributes so 95 so this will enter the values 102 Saradi and branch CSC and percentage 95. So this is the syntax to insert the elements, all the elements into a table. Okay, all the values for all the attributes. And what is the syntax for inserting a multiple rows, multiple rows at a time? So this will insert only one row at a time. So how to insert a multiple rows at a time? So simply you can see this one. And again, without executing the query, without terminating the query, use a comma and again give the second row at values. Attribute 1, value. Attribute 2, value. And so on. Okay. And comma, use a third one. So that implies the two rows will be inserted into the table so let us see instead of terminating this query comma so let us change this one 103 from comma again 104 hurry ece 96 comma 105 suri Triple E, 97, come, co column. That implies we are inserting three rows into a table with a one insert command. Okay, we are passing three. We are trying to insert three rows at a time. So the, all the three rows will be inserted into this table. Okay, <coughs> only one thing, if you want to give the values for all the attributes, you need not mention the attribute names here. And if you want to insert the values for a specific attributes, you have to mention the attribute names for which we are giving the values. So if it is a single row insertion or a multiple rows insertion, whatever it may be. Right. So hope you understood this insert comment. So don't worry. So I'll execute each and every concept, each and every uh, uh, case. That means how to insert uh, uh, specific attributes and how to insert the values for all the attributes single row insertion multiple rows insertion everything i will execute in the mysql so let's stop here
so let us move on to the mysql hello friends so just now we have seen the syntax for inserting the data into a table so now we'll see the implementation of that insert command so first let us open the mysql in a command line so give the password so first let us clear the screen system cls now let us use the database uh, youtube because in the previous session we have already created a database let us check for that <coughs> databases and uh, here you can see uh, there is a database called a youtube so let us use that youtube in uh, enter into that particular youtube database so use youtube now let us check with the tables which are available in that particular thing so show tables so student table is there so now uh, we'll check whether the data is available in the student or not so here the syntax is select a star from student so that it will display all the records so it is an empty set but that means the, that's an empty table that means there are no records available in the student table now we will insert this uh, data into the student so before insertion we have to know what are the attributes that are available in that particular student table so in order to know the complete structure of that student table we have to go with the desc describe student so there are four attributes one is a student id which is of integer a student name which is of varchar student branch which is of varchar and student percentage which is of float and here we have not given any constraint any constraint okay so we'll discuss about these constraints after this one because uh, in the next session after completion of the constraints we, we will check all the constraints by using this insertion command so before that we have to know about the syntax of insertion so let us insert the data into this particular table right so for that syntax insert into table name that is a student okay and give the attribute names so if you want to give the values for only a, a limited attributes you have to give the attribute names so if i want to give only the three values that means a student id okay std id comma std name comma std branch okay i just want to enter the values for these three attributes only so values give the values here 101 student id student name so if it is a where care or a character or a text data type the data should be given in quotations itself so give the quotations so i'll give sandeep comma and we have to give the branch so i'll give the branch csc right so you can see query okay one row affected that means already the data has been inserted into that particular table so let us check so in order to get the details go with the query select star from table name so you'll get one record so we have not given any value for the student percentage so by default it will be null because the default is null we have not given any constraint if you have given any constraint that particular value will be done okay so we'll discuss about these constraints in the next session so if you are not giving any value here it will take a default value right next next if you want to give the complete values if you want to give the complete value that means all the four attributes the values for all the four attributes you need not give the attribute names here insert into student and here you need not give the attribute names directly student into student values so here you need to give 102 saradi csc so it's a where cat csc some 99 so now see query okay one row affected also we got the data has been inserted into table we can select here student see two tables have been selected and if you are trying to give this one without one attribute see here i'll give 103 ramu ec and i just want i don't want to give the percentage so you will get an error because here we are not giving any column names here we are not giving any column names so if you are not giving any columns names you have to pass the values for all the columns 
here we are having four columns so if you are not specifying the column names so we have to specify all the four values for these four columns so if you want to give only the three values here you have to mention three columns in this way so here you can see we have given only three columns right then how what is the procedure to give a multiple values so let us check so select sorry insert into student okay values here pass on the values so 103 ramu ece 96 okay and comma give one more value so 104 some suresh triple 93 right if you want to give a one more value use a comma give one more value 105 comma hari mec 92 use a semicolon execute so you can observe here query okay three rows has been affected that means all the three rows have been inserted so you can select here so select star from student so you can see 103 10105 so all the three columns has been i mean all the three rows has been inserted so if you want to give the single row if you want to insert the single row so this is a syntax and two 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 types so that means if you want to give a same value or if you want to give i mean all the values or if you want to specify a limited number of attributes values for limited number of attributes and if you want to give a multiple rows simply use the com use the command insert and uh, give the details of complete row in a tuple right in one parenthesis so you can give a multiple values in the same statement in the same query so if you want to give the multiple uh, values for the limited attributes here you need to specify the attributes so this is how we can insert the values into a table right so hope you understood this uh, insert command so insert command is used to insert the data into the table so for that we have to know what are the attributes and what are the uh, data types for the corresponding attributes and if it is if the attribute data type is a character or a varchar or a text right if it is a string data type simply we have to specify it in a quotations so just remember these things right so hope you understood and uh, let's stop here so if you are having any doubts regarding this insert method so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much